Hey guys, Brian Lebo here with your August Las Vegas market update. While the July temperatures were hotter than ever before, our market cooled off in a very bizarre way. First up, let's talk about last month's sales. We sold 2,693 homes in July. This was actually a huge drop off from June when we sold 3,030 homes. Honestly, this looks a bit troubling. Look at it this way. Last year, July sales were 4% higher than June. Now this year, July sales are down 11% over June. Now forget about the month over month sales for a second. Every single month this year, we've beaten last year's sales and not by a small margin. We've beaten last year's sales anywhere from five to 11%. Not only was last month the first failure we've had this year, but sales were down 9%. That's a pretty profound drop off in sales. Okay, let's get even more strange for a minute and talk about everyone's favorite topic, median home prices. As you can see on the screen right now, last month, the median price actually rose to $235,000. Go figure, right? Even though sales slumped 11%, the median price actually rose 2.2% from 230,000 to 235,000. Even I'm scratching my head over this one. Okay, now let's move on to the current inventory levels and see if we can find something here. As you can see on the screen now, we ended July with 7,508 homes currently on the market. While it didn't go up as much as it did in June, we did increase about 2.5% this past month. This increase is easily attributed to such low sales. But even so, our inventory levels went up less than our sales went down. Either way you choose to look at it, inventory is brutally consistent. I debunked the rumors last month and I'll say it again. Inventory is stable. Look at the screen right here for proof. Right now, we're at about 7,500 homes. Last year, we were at 7,430. Going back two years to 2014, we were at 7,173 homes. We literally have twice as many homes on the market as we did when the market went crazy in 2012 and 2013. So honestly, let's stop worrying about inventory for a while. We are perfectly stable. Okay, now let's break down our current inventory. On the screen now, you can see that about 7% of our market are short sales, 3% are foreclosures, and 90% are traditional sales. Comparing these numbers to previous months, short sales dropped substantially, while foreclosures jumped back up a small bit. But most importantly, traditional sales continue to increase. This is the first time we've actually broke 90%. This time last year, we were only at about 86%. Now, obviously, unless the banks start releasing a ton of foreclosures or the housing market takes a surprising decline, we should continue to see traditional sales increase as time continues to go by. So speaking of foreclosures, let's check out the most recent notice of default data from Clark County. As I've mentioned time and time again, I don't believe that foreclosures represent enough of an impact in our market anymore to really spend too much time worrying about them. But for the viewers out there that do, here you go. Keep in mind that the county is so backed up that they're running literally one month behind. As you can now see on the screen, the most recent full month we have is for June which came in at a paltry 410 filings. This is the lowest month by far since I started tracking this four years ago when the defaults were around 1,500. Either way you cut it, with foreclosures only at 3% of our inventory, worrying about the notice of default activity makes really no sense, unless we have a month or two where we jump over say 1,000 that right there would get my attention and then start to concern me. All right, so let's wrap this up and see where we're actually going. Last month's sales just flat out disappointed. Meanwhile, 
Median home prices managed to jump up 2.2% to $235,000. Inventory is consistent and traditional sales continue to dominate just as expected. Foreclosure activity is minimal and continues to decrease. So what does this all mean? Well, inventory increased by about 180 homes while sales were down around 300 from what I was hoping them to be. So the good news is that this looks to me as though people just weren't really making any moves last month. Now, if sales were down 300 and inventory rose 300, then we'd have a larger issue on our hands since then it would look like demand wasn't meeting supply. Realistically, you can't stress out about one month. I've seen plenty of strange months before only to see a normal month immediately right after. Right now, I see a very healthy market where supply and demand seem to be very much aligned. What I've noticed this year is this though, the middle to high end of the market hasn't really appreciated much at all. In fact, many neighborhoods on the mid to high end have actually gone down. Meanwhile, the low end of the market really saw gains. Across the country, affordable housing is becoming a major problem. With affordable housing in such high demand and low supply, this market segment really has jumped up. I'd attribute most of the gains in median price to the fact that the bottom of our market is really just boosting it up. While the Vegas market is up 9% over last year, the low end of the market is up more like 20%. The good news is that you're finding less and less investors purchasing now since the numbers just don't make as much sense as they used to. But while investors are gone, there's still a massive demand for affordable homes. 10 years removed now from the boom, there's a whole generation of buyers that have never even owned a home before. And frankly, nobody is really building affordable new homes anymore. So, this puts a massive amount of pressure on the low end of the market since only resale or used homes can satisfy this consumer demand. Now, moving forward, I think you're going to see a very balanced market, just like we've seen so far this year. I think the low end has pretty much just plateaued out at this point, along with the rest of the other market segments. While median prices jumped this month, I wouldn't be surprised one bit to see prices actually drop next month and then basically just bounce back and forth throughout the rest of the year. In essence, the market is now like in neutral. Sellers are finally being reasonable about pricing while buyers are pickier than ever before since most homes aren't really selling in days like they used to. But with an even market, choosing the right agent has never been more important. Buyers and sellers are paying more attention to details than ever before. So professional marketing and negotiating can easily make the difference between selling your home for top dollar in a couple of weeks versus sitting on a stale listing for months wondering why it's not selling. Now, as a buyer, you really need to be aware of your personal market condition and have an agent that's aggressive and honest enough to provide you with effective advice. Well, that's it for this month, guys. Please click here to subscribe and have a wonderful end of your summer.